Hello and welcome to another video. Sorry it's been a while since I had the last video out, um, but I've been quite busy and I've just had no time to get things done. But I have been doing something. In the last video I mentioned I bought something for the van and I've been steadily making something for the van to actually fit that thing on. So, um, so I thought let's just jump into it and see what I've bought. So let's take a look. So here it is, I've purchased a side awning canopy type thing. So this is a permanent side awning and I got it from, as you can see, direct 4x4. Now just on first inspection, it looks pretty good quality. I have to say, I haven't had it fully out yet. Um, it's got this nice aluminium back plate. As you can see, it's kind of an extruded aluminium plate. So it's got slots for the bolts to go in. That's how you attach it to the van. Um, so I just thought I'd let you have a quick look at what it actually looks like. There's a choice of three colours, if I remember rightly, on the website. I think there's a green, a sand coloured, and I went for this lovely grey colour because it matches the van. So I've got a grey van. Let's have a grey canopy. So it looks pretty nice. Nice weatherproof bag that it all comes in. But the big issue I've got with this is the fact that I need to attach it to the van and there's no bracket on the market that fits a bongo with an aftermarket roof. So I'm going to have to come up with a way to attach this to the side of the van and I've got an idea so let's go over to the van and have a look. So the idea is to mount these onto the, the gutter. This is kind of the, the normal way but as you can see I have got an aftermarket roof which sits directly onto the gutter. The original AFT roofs sit above it so you can actually buy normal brackets for these but with this roof not possible. There's a couple of places to put these brackets. One is here on this door pillar just there and one at the back just here. Um, but as you can see there's just not much room so it has to go on this gutter so that's what I've got to do. So the awning actually came with these brackets. Now I'm thinking I'm just going to make use of this these brackets because it's free metal. You know, metal does cost quite a bit of money. Um, these would normally attach to the back plate here, and because they're expecting it to go on a 4x4 vehicle, they're expecting you to sort of affix these to a roof rack. And that would be really simple if that was the way. I could just put it up there, pop it on, no problem. But the problem is when I raise the roof up, that's going to be a load of rubbish. It's going to be well out of the way and you know total rubbish so it's got to go on the gutter there's absolutely no choice about that so to get these brackets to work for me i'm gonna to have to saw bits off and weld bits on and um, i'm gonna get them so they kind of stand upright like this just on the side of the gutter um, i've got a, an idea to affix them on there there are different methods to do this but i'm going to go with what i think is the most secure um, so yeah as you can see i'm trying to get it somewhere about there and i think that'll do the job pretty well so I say let's get chopping it up and get welding some bits of metal together. So here we are, I have made a couple of brackets and you can see my optimism in this shot by the fact I've sprayed them all black like this is going to work out perfectly. It's at this point I'm a bit of a poor deluded fool thinking this is going to be a straight, put it on job, walk away, have a cup of tea, done. It's not that simple is it, it's bongo land so nothing works out exactly as you expect it. So the way I've decided to actually fix these on, now look away folks if you're a bit squeamish but I'm going to drill the gutter. I'm going to actually mount the bolts straight through the gutter because I feel this is going to be the strongest option. So I've gone ahead and actually drilled the holes, um, made them a bit bigger, here's a bigger drill bit, I made them bigger. There we are, there's some bigger holes now. So I know you might think this is a bit extreme um, but don't forget my gutter doesn't actually get used because the uh, the roof actually sits straight on top of it so the water just runs off the side of that anyway and if I didn't want to have the canopy anymore I'll just put some rubber bungs in them holes and just put it back to a normal gutter so no problem there. So as you can see the bracket has already been ground back to bare metal because I've already modified it <laughs> which didn't take very long. Um, 
this happens a few more times this is what it's like to prototype something so i've got them mounted on now and the problem i'm facing is the fact that this front one this front bracket every time you raise the roof it always hits that bracket it looks like it's straight up and the, you think the roof's going to go straight up but it doesn't it seems to just catch it every single time so it has to be quite a, an extreme angle to sort of miss that roof so it's really hard to tell in this shot it's just if you pull the roof down it would actually go on the other side of the bracket and foul the bracket so that's not good so this is me trying to get the final angle right because i've got to chop and weld it again um so it looks like i've got to come out just a little bit further so i'm thinking something like that so i'm going to chop the actual top of this bracket off and re-weld it a bit further down and hopefully that'll do the trick so i chopped off the top bit of the bracket moved it down and stepped it out a bit and give it a bit of an angle i've put tons of weld on it so it should be pretty strong and look at me i've i've sprayed it again look at the optimism i think this is the one fingers crossed this is the one this is going to work so I've saved all this work for the uh, the coldest day um, since records began. So that's pretty good. Um, yes, yeah, bloody freezing. This is kind of a, one of the reasons why I've been doing things quite slowly. It's just too bloody cold out there. But I finally, I have got the brackets on. Not quite finally yet. I'm not super happy with those bits of rubber there, but I'm going to buy a little sticky pads for that. But basically they're on and they seem to be doing the job now. Um, just that last little angle there was just perfect so all i've got to do now is put the awning on the side of the van and then give it a whirl let's have a look so success at last i've got the canopy on the side of the van um, i had a little help from the father-in-law and um yeah i bought some little sticky pads to go behind the bracket where it touches the van so that, that's pretty cool i've got some little plastic um, cap things to go on the, the nuts at the back of the uh, the canopy um, but basically it works. So as you can see, I've actually got it on the van now and uh, I think it looks pretty good actually. I'm really happy with how it kind of fits. Um, but we want to see it out, don't we? So I have not really got much time to kind of unravel it. I can't actually do it on my driveway. So I'm heading over to my father-in-law's house and we're going to open up on his driveway and we're going to take a look. He actually helped me put it on the van as well. So I think he's quite excited to see what it looks like. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at it when it's actually out. <laughs> So there we go we've seen it out now and i think that looks really cool um now i wish i'd taken a slightly longer video there at the end but it's all like all the time i kind of had, had to pack it away and get back home again um but yeah i'm really happy with that so hopefully i will get out on a camping trip with it and i'll get to see it properly and i'll give it a bit more of an overview with it out and maybe the setup as well um it's pretty easy to set up um that was with two of us kind of doing it so i'm hoping to do it on my own next time because i think it'd be pretty easy i've seen videos of people doing it and it looks all right to me um yeah it looks really sturdy i'm really happy with the quality of it so um i'm not endorsed by direct 4x4 at all i mean if they want to that's up to them isn't it? you know <laughs> but um yeah so there we go um this is going to be the last video for this year next year i'm hoping to get more videos out um i've got a bit more time on my hands now from next year so um that's going to be pretty good so i'll say have a great christmas and a happy new year to you all and i will see you next year cheers yeah.